writers don't like to hear this, but I, and I don't mean to put the, the writers down because without them, there's no tale, but the words are pretty much secondary. I mean, they're important to start the thing off, but when you look at film, it's all about behavior, really. So there's a life, a real life, something real. You're not talking words. I got some ABC type information for you, lady. I was state raised, and this is a dead place. A child in eight by four green walls. After a while, you tell the walls, my life is yours. Well, did you grow up in the suburbs? Yes. Right, right. What are you looking at, huh? If you go, listen to the whole picture, I chose, there's not one contraction in it. I never say isn't, wasn't. So it was, you know, I am the last guy. This is not the way it is supposed to be, you know, whatever. And it was very, you know, distinct and strange. You want to make people join a Lonely Hearts Club, you know? I, I am a straight arrow. I am a true blue kind of a guy. I've been cool. I am now unmarried. So let's cut the mini moves and the bullshit and get on with this big romance. It was pretty much the story of a guy who tells his story pretty much when with that scene with Tuesday at that in that coffee shop. But it really turns out a guy who's in a hurry to achieve this collage because there were like 11 years of his life stolen because he robbed $40 or something. What is this? And that is my life, uh, and uh, nothing, nobody can stop me from making that happen. There were a lot of choices, you know, in, in Thief, and I made that choice early to be, you know, very distinct and not give a shit about anybody, you know, no fear of anything. There's nothing you could do to me that I'm afraid of. I've had it all done to me. And in that thing, which I loved and with, I think it's one of my favorite scenes, probably my favorite scene. And I was so proud, like when Strasbourg and them, they used to do that scene, like at the studio and other places, they, you know, for their students. I mean, I was so crazy. I mean, just being that guy, you know, it's like, People don't realize actors are just nuts. Maybe there is a reason. You ever think of that? Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, take a walk, Flash, all right? Go on. Hey. But part of being one that's fairly successful is like, you can't just push a button. So whether you like to admit it or not, that a certain osmosis takes place, you know, and you, you actually become a little bit of that guy. There was this one scene, like there was this guy, big guy, the guy was like 6'4", he had to weigh 240. I didn't hit him. I just went, boom, I put, hit him in the jaw. Pow! You know, you know, get out of my fucking way. I didn't say anything. <laughs> this guy went to Michael and said, son of a bitch, you hurt me. That big animal? I just slapped him in the chest. They don't come along like that, too. I mean, that kind of character where you get just so involved. 